What the heck you doing sitting down? Get your butt up and train. Since people always had a confusion of uh, what gun works for me and all this other bull crap, what I'm doing is a lot of my students brought in different guns today, so I'm pretty happy about that because I'm, I'm able to kind of dispel the myth, okay? We got a Glock 21, as you guys can see. Glock 21, okay? Got 13 rounds in it because this one takes 13 and the Glock 23 takes 13. So that's a Glock 23 takes 13. So I'm going to shoot 45, 40, and 9mm. I only put 13 and 9 as you guys can see. Can you focus in on that? Got it? If you, no, tap the focus point, I'm saying. So you see it's 13. And that's the Glock 19. Okay? So, I got the, uh, got calls over here on my, on my, my timer. I'm going to load up. I'm probably going to start off with the 9, because I shoot that the fastest, or I think so anyway. All these guns are all stock triggers. Let me check this 40 cal. Yeah. All of them are stock 5.5 pound trigger. So I'm going to hit timer, and I'm going to do each one. I'm going to go ahead and load up all three for sake of time right now. Uh, once I load up all three, I'm going to push this 8 inch circle out, and try to keep it on 8 inch circle as fast as I can shoot. Okay? If I get one out, it's okay. All right? Just imagine being the size of a human chest. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna load up the things first. And I'm gonna wait on him to tell me to stand by, and here we go. All right, so basically what we're trying to prove here is that no matter how good or bad you shoot, the only thing that matters is a good grip, good sight alignment, and truer control, and you can shoot any gun, doesn't freaking matter. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna start with the Glock 19 9 millimeter. Can you get, get on my head? Yeah. All right, are you ready, Carlos? Good. All right, we're gonna start this over again because we had some hiccups with the ammo. So we're gonna do 9, 40, and 45 again. Uh, we're ready on this, this timer. All right. Are you ready? I am. Stand by. <laughs> Okay, that's 13 rounds, 9 mil. How much we got? 2.92. All right, 2.92 on a 9 mil, 13 rounds. And I also stayed in to my 8 inch circle. All right, factory trigger, factory sights. Am I resetting sites. or anything? Huh? Am I resetting or anything? Yeah, you don't have to press anything. We just press go again. All right, 40 cal, 40 it's, cal. It's not at zero, so is that all right? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. It's fine, because we press view. But as soon as you press green, it's going to hit all that again. All right, 40 cal, 40 cal, Glock 23. Are you ready? What was that first one? 2.92? 2.92. Okay. Are you ready? I am. Stand by. <laughs> what we got? 3.47. 3.47. A little bit slow. I got caught up on the trigger. Um, but as you see, for the most part, I'm still in. I had one high because I got caught up on the door and trigger. That's my fault. It has nothing to do with the gun. All right. Going with the Glock 21, 45 cal. <clears throat> We're gonna try to beat that. Just press go again, right? Yep. Are you ready? Not yet, not yet. Are you ready? All right, I am. Stand by. <laughs> Two point nine nine. Two point nine nine. All right. So, hopefully, the camera was able to catch the way the gun moved during shooting. And what you'll notice is that no matter how fast or how slow I was shooting on each gun, my control was there. All right. That's the only way I can see a forty-five hop back down fast enough to put all rounds in the eight-inch circle. 
as you guys see, I had this one little flyer here. These guys were.